And that guy's annoying. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairon, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold, sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood. All those disgusting marvels we take from dying species to throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Ponta, it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. But partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witchers' rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit, and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a whorehouse. Thanks for the warning. I don't think she cares. I think she kind of likes that. Creepy enough, I know, but okay. That's fine with you if you're okay with it, I guess. <laughs> Man, I saw a, uh, saw a cat fight about to happen there. Meow. Anyway. Touch the merchants on the waterfront. Let me go uh, get to those people real quick. Right outside of here. It's kind of annoying about this town. There's all the freaking loading screens you have to go through. Opening these doors. Talk to this asshole. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. The fuck is he wearing ah, on his face? <laughs> only had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Can't help with the tolls, but the monster's a possibility. The sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage a loan. You can split that reward if you wish. Well, we're managing it together now, so as I see it, you should double the reward. <laughs> you jest! I never jest. Uh, all right. We shall increase the reward. You'll both be satisfied, I assure you. It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it! I've no knowledge of these things. Who could tell me more? That plowing elf, Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? In the village, outside the walls. Now leave me be. You might want to stir it. Yeah, like I said, people say the word plowing in this game a lot. A lot. Let me take a look at my quests here real quick. Oop, duh. To change the 
page or whatever. Let's see. Search the king, search trail. Talk to Cedric. Go to his residence in the evening. Let's do that. So let's actually uh, wait to midnight. There we go. What? The Commandant wanted to see me. Leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You're going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. Someone's a little mad. Someone had a bee sting them in the morning. <laughs> what an asshole. A ballista. The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Hmm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. We got this. So I find a way to disable that. I wonder. What do you need, ugly? Ugly? Ugly. Well, you ain't exactly handsome. But? I wouldn't worry. Women prefer ugly men to groomed dandies. And you're ugly something mighty. Care for a romp? Can't just now, but I'll find you later in town. What's your name? Margarita. I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it, I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right. It'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. Hmm, let's see. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give him a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Not just yet. Well, no, you're just asking to do that. Okay, where's the other idiot? Here's one. I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no necks. Oh! What do you want, mutant? To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. Let's do this thing. You're going down, bitch. Just keep it in the little yellow bar there. It's not that hard until you get to the very, very right when this thing becomes so tiny. There we go. Add flour into the mix and it doesn't get any I hate mutants like you. I know, I know. Luckily, I don't like strangers. I don't like strangers. Let's see, where's the other one? Alphonse. That one struts about as if he were the king himself. What you want? Old man. I was looking to test my strength. Arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. And if I win? You'll have beat a witcher. So I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good, old fella? The Grey Wolf? Mm hmm Alright. 
Let's begin. Did you hear? White wolf, but Two okay. Big shots arrived. Wonder what they want. This guy's drunk as hell. Bring it. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. She's over they time. say witches have no need to plow. Did you know that? Seriously, they say the word plow so many times in this game. It is ridiculous. The old man got me. I need to eat. Build up a bit. Did you hear? Two big shots arrived. Okay. Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. Thank you. Now hurry the hell up and walk over to him. Who's a white-haired filly? Oh? Sorry. <coughs> Nothing better than a fire <laughs> sniffing Except around a like a dog in a rubbish dump. <laughs> I'm on duty. Add plow into the I'm mix and it doesn't on. get any better. Your Luckily the Comdex provided it all. Why should you True. be any worse? <laughs> Come here, lass. Right. Your uncle's Let's got go. a story for you. So long as he can afford to tell it. I'll not lend an ear Wait for less for than it. ten orange. Nice. That one struts about as if he complete. The list is decommissioned. Perfect. Let's go see Larido. Yeah, we got this. Larido's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. Seriously. Why can't we just talk to the dude? Yes? Do we wait until the Honorable Lady is done with the Venerable Hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Lurido keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Lurido's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck. All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. Absolutely. Starting to sneak behind the house, I'll wait for him. Soldier, report to me immediately. Wait for it. Now go. What do you want? Shut it, soldier. Knock him out. <coughs> gotcha, bitch. Oh, he's pissing. Wow. <laughs> you see that? It was just like... <laughs> oh, and that was hilarious. I saw the piss coming out of his... Uh... Ugh, that was funny. It was just coming out of his clothes. <laughs> There's no actual penis. That's hilarious. No, I didn't want to climb back up. Go down, please. Thank you. That was funny, you just saw the piss coming out. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Has he got knocked out too? 
That's gotta be embarrassing. You wake up and you see all this piss you're laying in. Oh shit. In Flotsam, we cut the hands off thieves. I was looking for the privy. You're lucky the commandant wants to see you. Come on. Whoops. Walked right in front of that guy. Oh well. Commandant, sir. We caught the witcher sneaking around the garden. Bring him in and leave. Yes, sir. We were just discussing a certain matter. You here on business too? The Commandant wanted to see me. In that case, I shall leave you to it. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the Sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those Sorceresses. I heard what happened in Tamaria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate. Though nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law around here. And the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it, too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo, then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him, too. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. A local conflict, none of my business. You killed some elves on the riverbank outside Flotsam. We were attacked. You failed to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Dorito. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war. And you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. Yorveth talks about driving off the Duan. He calls the elder races superior. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the poorer non-humans secretly support him. Right you are. As long as Yorveth remains weak, they're afraid to join him. But what happens if he gains strength? Woe to Flotsam, I say. You're a Witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorveth's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lorito's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as Yorveth remains free, humans, elves, and dwarves will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted Yorveth. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Cairn has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. Uh, that is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Cairn and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'm a witcher. I don't work for free. Of course you don't. 
Help us capture the Scoyatel commander, and you'll be rewarded generously, straight from the trading post's treasury. I'll see what I can find out. Oh, you stir up storms wherever you go. I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell. Yeah, we got this. So I'm gonna steal some more of his stuff, because, you know, I'm just cool like that. Search, uh, nope. That needs a key. Oh well. Let's head back out. I think it's this way. So apparently we're going after Yorviv and the elves, and we have the giant ass um, lake monster or whatever, the Karen, Karen, whatever to deal with too. I remember fighting that Karen a long time ago. It's kind of a bitch to fight. Well, we shall see what happens though. Turned me away at the door, the bastard. Uh, he just loves you. You just don't know it yet. <laughs> loves you to death, buddy. We'll meet later. Don't forget your weapons on the way out. Yep, um, they're right. Wait, where are they? Where the heck are my weapons at? Um... The fuck? Oh, here we go. I was like, where the hell did they go? Okay, so of course the silver sword... And of course... That one. Wait, no, wait, not that one. Long sword. Pickaxe and a hammer, 12 to 20 damage? Huh. Whatever. That will do it for now, guys. Next time we shall do some more The Witcher 2. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe. Let's do this.